Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and hi everyone. I'm Madam Hashida binti Mama Hasan. Today we continue our lesson for chapter 1, Number System and Equation. Now we are going to learn lecture 5 of 6 in subtopic 1.2, Logarithm. The objective of this lesson is, at the end of the lesson, students should be able to state the laws of logarithm such as the first one is called the product group. Given log m times n to the base a can be expressed as log m to the base a plus log n to the base a. The second one is called the quotient group. Given log m divided by log n to the base a can be expressed as log m to the base a minus log n to the base a. The third one is called the power rule. Given log m to the power of n to the base a can be expressed as n times log n to the base a. Next, changing base of the logarithm. Given log m to the base a can be expressed as log m to the base b divided by log a to the base b. Then, the next objective is to solve equation involving logarithm. Logarithm Next, we learn the definition of logarithm. Logarithm is a number y and y must be greater than 0 for any given base a and a must be greater than 0 and is written as log y to the base a is equal to x where in the index y equal to a to the power of x and x should be element of the real number common logarithms common logarithms is a number y and y should be greater than 0 for base 10 and is written as log y to the base 10 is equal to x where in index y equal to 10 to the power of x and x should be element of the real number note that log y to the base 10 can be written as log y Natural logarithm of x. The natural logarithm is a number y for base e or exponent and is written as log y to the base e or exponent is equal to x, where y equal to exponent x and x must be element of the real number. Note that log x to the base e can be written as ln x. For example 1, so we are given the question is write this expression in the logarithmic form. For example a, given 2 power 3 is equal to 8. To write from index to logarithm by taking log for the both sides. So we write log to the base 2 2 power 3 is equal to log to the base 2, 8. On the left hand side, we will rewrite using power rule. 3 times log 2 to the base 2 is equal to log 8 to the base 2. Then log 2 to the base 2 is equal to 1. So 3 is equal to log 8 to the base 2. Or log 8 to the base 2 is equal to 3 or the other method we can consider 2 power 3 is equal to 8 2 is a base 3 is an index and 8 is a number Therefore, we can write in the 
logarithmic form log to the base 2 the number is 8 and equal to the index is 3 the same answer next for example 1b so we are given 10 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 0 0.1 to write in the logarithmic form we can write 10 is a base negative 1 is an index and 0 0.1 is a number Therefore, we can write in the logarithmic form. Log to the base 10, the number 0 0.1 is equal to negative 1. Or, we can write log 0 0.1 is equal to negative 1. Common logarithm. For example, to A, so we are given the question is, write this expression in the indices form. Given log 16 to the base 2 is equal to 4. 2 is a base. 16 is a number. And 4 is an index. Therefore, we can write in the indices form. 2, the base is 2, power of 4 is equal to 16. For example, 2B, given log 1 over 16 to the base 4 is equal to negative 3. Now, we can write in the indices form. First, we write 4 is a base. 1 over 16 is a number and negative 3 is an index. Therefore, 4 the base to the power of negative 3 is equal to 1 over 16. Rules of logarithms The first one is called the product rule. Given log m times n to the base e can be expressed as log m to the base e plus log n to the base e. The second one is called the quotient rule. Given log m divided by log n to the base e can be expressed as log m to the base e minus log n to the base e. The third one is called the power rule. Given log m to the power of n to the base a can be expressed as n times log m to the base a. Next, changing base of the logarithm. Given log m to the base a can be expressed as log m to the base b divided by log b to the base b. For the other important property for logarithmic form is the value of a, m, and n must be greater than 0 and x element of the real number. Number 1, log 1 to the base a is equal to 0. Log a to the base a is equal to 1. Log a to the power of x to the base a is equal to x. Log 1 over n to the base a can be expressed as log n to the power of negative 1 to the base a or we can write negative log n to the base a a to the power of n to the base a is equal to n if log m to the base a is equal to log n to the base a we can compare the value then m is equal to n Please take note that log 1 minus x in bracket not equal to log 1 minus log x. Log b to the base a squared not equal to 2 times log b to the base a. Then log b divided by log a not equal to b over a. And please take note that the log
logarithm of a negative number does not exist. And logarithm for number 1 to any base is equal to 0. For example 3a, so we are given the question is express the given question as a single logarithm. Given 2 times log a to the base 3 minus log 4a to the base 3. By using the power rule, we will write log a squared or power 2 to the base 3 minus log 4a to the base 3. Then using the quotient rule, we write log to the base 3 a squared over 4a. And we can simplify log a over 4 to the base 3. Next, for example 3b, given the question is 2 times log x to the base a plus 3 minus log 3x to the base a. For this question, 3, we can write in the logarithmic form. Therefore, log a cubed to the base a. The same base. So, log x squared, the power rule, to the base a plus 3 is a log a cubed to the base a minus log 3x to the base a. Then, we use the product rule and the quotient rule. Log x squared times a cube divided by 3x to the base a. We can simplify log a cube times x over 3 to the base a. For example, for a, so we are given the question is rewrite each expression as a sum or difference of multiples of logarithms. The question is we call common logarithm. Log x to the power of 4 times y to the power of 3. First, we apply the product rule. So, equal to log x to the power of 4 plus log y to the power of 3. Then, using the power rule, 4 times log x plus 3 times log y. Next, for example, for B, given the question is log x cubed over x minus 1 to the base 2. First, we apply the quotient rule. So, we write log x cubed to the base 2 minus log in bracket x minus 1 to the base 2. Then, using the power rule. 3 times log x to the base 2 minus log x minus 1 to the base 2. Next, for example, for C, given the question is log x times set 1 minus x divided by x squared plus 3. Now, we have used multiple rules of logarithm. Equal to log x times 1 minus x to the power of half divided by x squared plus 3. And then, log x product rule plus log 1 minus x to the power of 1 over 2 minus quotient rule log 
in bracket x squared plus 3. Then, the final answer is log x plus our rule 1 over 2 times log 1 minus x minus log x squared plus 3. Next, for example 5, so we are given the value of log 2 is 0 0.30103, log 3 is equal to 0 0.47712. The question is, find log 12. Now, we, we can write log 12 is equal to log 4 times 3 is 12. And then, we can write log 4 plus log 3 using product rule. And then, we write log 4 is 2 squared plus log 3. And the power rule, 2 times log 2 plus log 3. And we substitute in the value. 2 times log 2 is 0 0.30103 plus log 3 is 0 0.47712 and the total is 1.07918